Hello learners, I'm teacher Sharon. This is from 4 Mathematics, topic 2, which is Statistics 2. In this lesson, I'm going to take you through calculation of the mean of ungrouped data using assumed mean. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to calculate the mean of a given set of data using the assumed mean or working mean. In book 2, calculation of the mean of a given data was discussed, but in this lesson I will take you through calculation of the mean but using the assumed mean, which is also called the working mean. You might be asking yourself, where will you get the assumed mean? So the assumed mean will be given by the examiner, like in our case here, we have the assumed mean as 53. But in case it is not given, then you take one of the values of x in the set of the data to act as the assumed mean. Let us look at this example. The masses to the nearest kilogram of 40 students in the Form 3 class were measured and recorded in the table below. Calculate the mean mass of the students using an assumed mean of 53. So our assumed mean is given as 53. This is how we proceed. We have to make a frequency distribution table. So I'll make a table which is having four columns. That's the first column. The second column the third column and the fourth column. In the first column, we'll have the values of x. So we have 47. They are given in the table, followed by 48, 49, in that order up to 60. So we have 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, we have 54, and you realize that 53, which is also the assumed mean, is in the values of x. So we continue with our list. After 54, we have 55, 56. 57, 58, 59, and 60. So in the second column, we can have the frequencies. And in the table, we have 2, 0, 1. So we have 2, 0, one, let's check from the table again. We have two, three, two. So two, three, two. These are two. Then we can extend our column downwards. So for 53, the frequency is given as five. Then 54, we have 6, 7, 5. So 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 5. Let's check for 57 from the table. We have 3, 2, then 1, 1. So 3, this is a 3. Then it was 3. 2, 1, 1. Yes, 2, 1, 1. Our third column will have t, which is given by the value of x minus the assumed mean. So the first one will be 47 minus 53, which is negative 6. 48 minus 53, 
negative 5. 49 minus 53, which gives us negative 4. We have 50 minus 53, which is negative 3. 51 minus 53, which is negative 2. 52 minus 53, negative 1. Then we have 53 minus 53, which is 0, because 53 is the one which is acting as the assumed mean. So we have 54 minus 53, which is 1. 55 minus 53, 2. 56 minus 53, that is 3. 57 minus 53 is a 4. 58 minus 53 gives us 5. 59 minus 53, 6. 60 minus 53 gives us 7. So this is now the value of t and we have to get ft that is frequency multiplied by the value of t. So for the first one we have 2 multiplied by negative 6 which is negative 12. 0 multiplied by negative 5 that is a 0. Then we have 1 multiplied by negative 4 to give us negative 4. 2 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 6. 3 multiplied by negative 2, negative 6 again. We have 2 multiplied by negative 1, which is negative 2. 5 by 0, that is 0. 6 multiplied by 1, which is 6. 7 multiplied by 2 to give us 14. Then we have 3 and 5 to give us 15. 3 multiplied by 4 to give us 12. 2 multiplied by 5 to give us 10. 1 multiplied by 6 which is 6. And lastly 1 multiplied by 7 to give us 7. Now we need to get the summation of Ft that is sigma Ft and sigma F. Summation of this column, the column represented by Ft, will give us our sigma Ft. And then the column represented by frequency will give us the sigma F. That is the summation of frequency. So if we add 2 plus 0 plus 1 all the way up to 60, will get 40 and this is because we were told the students were 40. So the sigma f is 40. Now let's get the sigma ft negative 12 plus 0 plus negative 4 plus negative 6 plus negative 2 then plus 0 plus 6 14, 15, you add 12, you add 10, 6, 7, and sigma ft will be equal to 40. If you add all these values of ft. So now the mean of this data will be given by the assumed mean plus sigma ft over sigma f. So the assumed mean was given as 53 plus we have the value for sigma ft which is 40 divided by the value for sigma f which is 40. So we have 53 plus 40 divided by 40 is 1 and this gives us 54. So the mean of that data is 54. Thank you for listening and this is the end of this lesson.